All right, so I'm going to be doing the tribute page um, project here on Free Code Camp. As you can see, this is what we're going to be creating. So I'm going to be doing all of these tests, all, uh, all nine of these user stories. So I'm going to be passing all the tests. I'm going to show you guys how you can pass all uh, 10 of these tests. So as you can see it should be page in free code camp and I'm gonna show you guys how to pass all ten of these tests and show you guys the CSS and all of that. So let's get started. So user story number one, my true page should have an element with a corresponding ID main which contains all of the elements. So, so all you're really going to do is take the fetch here. Press ID for and afterwards before we do that, we also need to this which is i should see an element with a corresponding id title so i'll get h1 right here ID title. and i'm going to copy and paste this doctor this there we go so if we come here and run the test and got two and pass three out of ten the next one here is story number three. I should see either a figure or a div element. So of course an ID image with our div. That pass this then that will work. Alright, so let's use a story number three. Use a story number four. Within the IMG div element, I should see an image element with a corresponding ID equal image. Image right here. ID is image. Then we're going to copy and paste it. So we're going to code pen right here. Copy image address and source. There you go. So if we run the test, 5 out of 10 pass. So roughly. User store number 5. It's in the IMG div element. As you see, an element with a corresponding image caption. If you put in a paragraph right here, pop in We run the test, you should see 6 or 10 pass. Good. Alright, here's a story number 6. I should see an element with a corresponding ID tribute info that would be. This right here, here. ID Let's see. It's gonna add in this title. Okay. Let's rerun the test. Seven out of ten bucks. Beautiful. Is a story number seven. I should see an anchor tag element with the corresponding ID tribute link, and it must also have target underscore blank right down here. So I forgot all of this should be in the main. Sorry, let me cut it. Down. Yeah, sorry about that. So, yes, so I'm going to make a paragraph. So I'm going to actually copy and paste this right here. Paste. Then where Wikipedia entries, let me use Wikipedia entries, and add in an anchor tab, should have target equal underscore blank href. Oh, wait, also ID, what's the ID? ID Copy link address. Paste. Paste. That should work. So if we run the test, eight out of ten pass. So let's use a story number seven. Use a story eight. The image element should responsibly resize relative to the width of its parent element. So to see original size. So the way we're going to do this is going to see with CSS. Let's the image and display block. Put in a max width of white, say 100%. I'm going to put your margin auto. 
when putting margin auto and that should also um you will use a store number nine which is the image element should be centered with its pair element so you run a test and there you go everything is passed just like that so there you go that's how you pass all of the test for this project so i'm going to um, stop the recording and i'm going to do the css and the rest of the elements so i mean if you want to you can actually just stop right here and then like paste in the work but we're not going to do that so i'm going to I'm going to recreate the whole thing and i'll see you later all right so i'm finished with the css as you can see right here this is it so if you've done the css then in order to um complete this i'm gonna go to free full camp website where the project is then you want to click right here you can build your project by using this copeland template right here so copy it so then what you're going to do is paste the code Control a Control c copy and paste everything there it should load up i think yeah and for the css same thing style Control a Control c then afterwards go up where the link is the url copy copy it then go down here to solution link and paste it and click i've completed this challenge then submit a goal and just like that you did it now i'm going to go through the um css real quick um i added a color of of hashtag 333 so we can pose a little bit more like lighter if you consider and afterwards for the main a margin of 30 pixels so on top and bottom in 80 on the um 80 pixels on um, the left sides in padding border radius 5 pixels background color whitish and for the title 2.5 rm font size line center margin bottom is 15 subtitle which is uh, which is this right here all it did was just align center more. image diff background color white margin top 15 pad bottom 15 for the image display block you know the same as before display block max width 100 and margin auto then image caption center it 13 pixels margin top like that headline which is this part right here this part right here this is the element above this center it and then margin 50 on both top and bottom list right here max width 550 pixels and then that's the margin then list just margin 16 pixels on top of the top to give it some to give it some space right here. then block block quote uh max width 545 pixels in the margin and font style ital italic so that's how it looks and tribute link color and that's it very very easy project and yeah that'll be it see you all in the next video peace out